when she uh, won the silver medal at both the Olympic Games and the World Indoor Championships. It was awesome. Yes, it's been a year of up and downs. Um, you know, I guess that's what pole vault is. And it's similar to golf. Sometimes you can have a great round and the next round not so good. But you know what, the base is there and the training that I've done is there. If we can put it together, you know, and save it for the finals, you know, I'll be happy. You know, the London victory was, I mean, I don't know how to put it, it was a fight because the jumpers were in there. The best jumpers in the world were in there. And, you know, everyone is jumping hard and jump, and it was a struggle and a fight and it was third attempt makes and it was adjusting on the runway and I hadn't had to do that in a long time. You know, there's a difference of jumping and clearing a bar and winning the competition versus fighting it out. And I had to fight it out and I was happy that I did that before I came here. The depth is a lot deeper than it's ever been. There's a lot of good jumpers out there and they're coming from everywhere. They're coming from, you know, there's a British girl out there that she looks very good. And there's, a, I believe, a Greece girl. And, you know, the Germans are coming, the Poland. So it's like every country is bringing someone and they're jumping in the 70s range. And that hasn't happened ever. You know, Isabeva is a pole vaulter that has jumped higher than anyone else in the world, and she knows how to do that. So, you know, she has the feeling in her body of what it's like to jump high, and she can repeat that any day she wants. So, I, you know, she's always a threat.